Hey everyone, I'm Josh, this is Alex, we are the target audience. Content is made for everybody, but we think it's specifically made for us, and hopefully for you as well. Today we're going to be reacting to something much different than we have so far on the channel, and that is Bo Burnham's obscure early 2010s MTV series, Zack Stone is Gonna Be Famous. This series only had one season. But me and Alex have been fans of Bo Burnham for a very long time, basically since he started. We'd both seen him live, um, watched all of his stuff. This series, however, in particular, has always eluded me. I have not seen it. How about you, Alex? Yeah, I kind of forgot it existed. Uh, I think he announced on Twitter, like, oh, hey, my show that only had one season is now on Netflix. Was this originally on Comedy Central? It was actually on MTV. MTV, Jesus Christ, before ridiculousness took up every time slot, wow. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love Bo to death, but this is like one of those things that just slipped through the cracks. Um, like, all of his specials are like godsends, like I can rewatch him and listen to all those songs any day of the week, and we were fans of him when he was on YouTube, and like, I guess when he first made the transition to stand-up, this is one of those things that fell in and just... I don't know. I just I know nothing about it. I mean, I love this movie Eighth Grade. Uh, that's similar, I'm, I guess. And I hope this is like that, but also funny. I don't even know, I don't even know what to expect. As far as this show goes, you know, I'm not going to go into it expecting like some type of masterpiece of a show just because I don't know how much he had to do with the creative aspect of it I'm just hoping to get some fo funny you know Bo Burnham moments I'm expecting this to kind of be like a in the vein of other MTV shows like uh, I think it was called Awkward or RJ Burger like those type of kind of goofy shows I'm expecting this to be in that same vein but again I really don't know much about it either so I'm ready to just jump in well fell asleep reading the dictionary again <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably asking yourselves hey what am I watching here? Slow down. Well, brace yourselves, America. You are watching exclusive behind-the-scenes footage of a pre-celebrity. Stay. God, he looks so young. Alive. Good. <laughs> Good, guys. Intimate. Are any of you guys in the shot? No. Zack Stone is gonna be famous. Zack Stone is gonna be famous. Zack Stone. Zack Stone. Okay, so it was created by Bo Burnham, so. Dude, what did you do to my posters? I don't want to have clearance issues, Andy. <laughs> right, get out. It's over your head. Okay. Yeah. I am lucky enough to have two loving and open-minded parents who are beyond supportive of my decision to spend my entire life savings on a reality show about myself. So. It's the dumbest thing you've ever done, Zach. Not true. Not true. Is that guy that plays Biff from yeah, Back to the Future? I was going to say. Plenty of sluts still go to college. Ah, right? but you don't need to go to college to be famous, guys. Do you know why? Because... Soldier Boy, super famous, and can't even read. I love how he keeps looking at the other camera, but it just doesn't cut to it. <laughs> yeah. Susan passed away last night. Oh, I, oh, I don't know what that is. Ex-step Grandma Susan. Susan. I'm going I'm to take it again. What do you mean you're going to take that again? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Zach. <laughs> and scene. Nailed it. Hey. Oh, my. Zach. Okay, sorry. That's my good friend Amy. <clears throat> great girl, great girl, but I don't really see how she fits into the show. Hey, I'm uh, Zach. This is my best friend Greg. He hey. shaves once every two hours. I shave once every two months. We had three girlfriends total in high school. I've had three girlfriends. So three total. <laughs> Listen to me, there's one more thing. We were wondering if um, you might want to do a reading at the funeral tomorrow. Give me the spotlight and I'm going to seize it. No I will spotlight. not disappoint you. No. You're the best mother no. ever. Zach. I love you. Goodbye. Zach. God, I love you. I'm headlining. I feel like his parents, knowing what we know about him already, they would not ask him to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So my mom gave me this list of errands to do for the funeral, but the problem is she completely lowballed everything. Two dozen roses. Boom! Make that a dozen dozen roses. Chrissy was the hottest girl in my high school. I never really got the chance to talk to her, but that was before I had the best wingman in the world. Mm, thanks. Not you, the camera. But there's only one thing you need in order to know everything you need to know about a girl like Chrissy Ackerman. The internet. Look, in five seconds, I know that she likes uh, Diet Dr. Pepper, Shades of Hot Pink, and Nicki Minaj. Awesome. Dislikes banana-flavored candy and 9-11. Classy. And her favorite quote is, anyone want a piece of this cake? Attributed to her. Help. You work fast, dude. 
So those petals are all from the roses he got, I bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't know if you sell Diet Dr. Pepper here. I was sitting in my car. I was really sad because I was thinking of 9-11 all day. And I was listening to Nicki Minaj sort of cheer myself up. And I was thinking, Diet Dr. Pepper really hit the spot right now. I don't know if you sell them. That is like how I start out every day of my life. Get out of here. We don't sell any here, but I have one. Mm, mm. That is warm. <laughs> can you believe how much we have in common? So, uh, yeah. I mean, if you show up early, we can share a slice of that cake. What'd you just say? Uh, you know what? You let's just go, <laughs> come to the party, and I'll see you there. Have you been reading nope. the face? Hot chick may come to the party. <laughs> Check. You bought 12 dozen roses? Uh, yeah, okay, you know what? You might freak out. I'm what? already freaking out. You know what? Never mind, then. Never mind, I'll just go inside. Where the hell are the petals? <laughs> <laughs> There's a room full of heartbroken people downstairs who didn't get to say goodbye to a sweet old lady named Susan. <laughs> Until now. <laughs> Jack, you in there? <laughs> out. Jack, everybody out. out. Let's go. Susan, I'm say goodbye. Stop. 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 Get outside. <laughs> go, guys. Just go. <laughs> Dad, you can never be too safe when driving a vehicle. All right, that was a stop sign. Seth, <laughs> stop the car. No, it's fine. I said, my wife forgot to confirm the priest. You didn't get a priest? Shh, she's shh. not gonna get into heaven. Oh, for heaven's sake, she's going to heaven. <laughs> she's coming. I texted him. He's on his way. Do you think that you might be able to give that little speech that you were gonna give? Zach, I want You want me to get what? Oh, this my, no, party no, 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 no. started. Zach. My mother approves. No, no, no. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the funeral. Sorry for the late start, but that's oh, appropriate God. for the late. Great. Susan, I forget her last <laughs> name. Okay, thank you very much. It's a sad day, guys. <sighs> she was black, okay? She was black. Deal with it, Dad. <laughs> Rough start? Normal. Oh, you never ever lose. You always always win. We loved your gray hair and we loved your pale skin. Doesn't work. Okay, <laughs> change the pace, guys. You need to cherish people when you have them. Because you, you don't know when they're gonna be gone. It could be it could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be the orientation week. That was very nice. <laughs> My parents said that I was the star of the funeral. <laughs> I, I, I know it's not much, but even Will Smith had to start somewhere, right? And the world may not know it yet, but uh, I'm gonna be famous. You know what that scouting means, Father? I know the damn garage door woke me up when you came home last night. Hey, oh. You know the rules, Zach. <laughs> home by midnight. Rules are for normal kids, Dad, okay? You think Will Smith has rules? Why is it always about the Smith family? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like that's the second time he's mentioned them. Hey, listen, boys, don't forget that we're taking the family Christmas photo this weekend. Already forgot. Wait, why are we doing our Christmas photos in June? Well, because I booked this one. We thought your brother was going away to college. Hey, I decided what I want to be famous for. Oh, good eggs, huh? Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Mom. Done. I'm, I'm going to sing, guys. Do some toast. This is supposed to be an establishing shot at Greg's house, so I'm not in the shot, right? I'm good? <laughs> good. <laughs> you sure I'm out? The show reminds me of the show you did back in the day. Ah, yes. Fun Ventures. Yeah, very similar where premise. Just get, where you just get cameras and start recording. Oh, my God. Oh. Zach, hi. Oh, my God. Christy. Hey, girl. Cool. Just shoot me a text. Ah, uh, okay. I mean. Uh, thank you, Martin. Hey. Martin, what's your deal? <laughs> <laughs> Take off your pants. That's the whole song? Yeah, man. Think about it. Nowadays, with iTunes, people just want to listen to their favorite part of their favorite song, and I'm cutting right to the chase. Yeah. You know, it sounds more like an intro, mm. or like a ringtone. And check out my ringtones. Tunes so sweet, you let your phone go straight to voicemail. Okay? <laughs> Great. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, would you mind handing these out to your friends when you guys go shopping for Big Leap Chew, whatever you people do? <laughs> Get out of my room. <laughs> Hey, Zach, look, I got you a sweater to wear for the family photo. Cut, please, it's mom stuff. Dude, no wonder my music sucks, okay? I'm wearing a cardigan my mom picked out. America doesn't want to buy gentle music from a gentle kid who just takes it. I need to rebel against my parents. I hate you so much. <laughs> Risotto's. Hey, is that my old leather jacket? Kiss. Listen, you know what? If you want to talk about the rules of this house and a responsible, mature Zach... 
You could have paid to replace that sweater. Whatever, I gotta go meet a groupie. Just in case you need a backup singer. Do you need one? Yes, whatever, yes. Yes! How did I feel when Zach Stone asked me to be his backup singer? Oh no, really we, we don't do that, we don't do that. The show is a loser format. <laughs> My ex-boyfriend Omar, he works at the punk hole. Oh. He said we could perform there. See you yuppies never. Ho, 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 where, where do you think you're going? I got a gig, Andrew, it's at the punk hole. What is the punk hole? That sounds very dark. I, you know what? I'm sick and tired of my life dictated by a couple of, you know, dic dictators, okay? You know, for your information, Greg and Amy don't even have curfews anymore. Andrew, Amy and Greg earned their freedom because their parents are actually proud of them. Andrew! That guy's a great actor. Why isn't he more stuff? Uh, he's probably in some Paramount Plus TV show. <laughs> Paramount Plus. Wait. You're in Zach's band? Oh, Zach's in my band. Actually, we're in our band. I'm the lead singer, producer, songwriter, and she sings backup. All right, everybody. Put your hands together for straight to voicemail! Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Rules! Rules! F your rules! They aren't for this guy! Um, why is it so short? It's a ringtone, sir. Do you like it rough like that? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> okay. This next song is about my parents and how much they suck. I mean, mom and dad, right? Yeah, your mom's a bitch. Well, okay, well, we can rock and be respectful. My mom and dad are good Sorry. people. And there is glass on the floor. Look who decided to come home. Do you hold this, buddy? I'm not, not proud of you, you know? You're trying. So, now what are you going to be famous for? Off the top of my head. Zach Stone <laughs> filming on location at the beach. Dozens of extras. Production value. Guess we'll just have to spend extra time together on Sunday. You skip church too? I did it two <laughs> weeks ago. No, silly. I'm throwing a party. <laughs> Please come. Bring your whole crew. Absolutely. Definitely your crew. This is great. Maybe the spending sand your fun. free time getting famous instead of going to Christy Ackerman's party. Amy, fame is 5% hard work and 95% hanging out with lots of hot people. So I'm being productive. Well, I'm definitely <laughs> not going. Well, let's round up the rest of the Zach pack, shall we? And then I'll just look over and we'll cut. <laughs> <laughs> we are invited to a party. Why is no one else excited about this? This is not really our scene. It could be our scene. I'm in. Great, let's take it in. Action. Party at Chrissy's house. Are you coming, Greg? Yes. Great. I gotta get the new me together. Can I take this? Uh, no. Awesome, thanks. This is clearly me. Sort of a blank canvas <laughs> just waiting to be painted. Uh, I hope you didn't pay money for that. Pops, the haircut wasn't expensive, okay? <laughs> Moose wasn't cheap, though. You've been wearing the same pair of jeans for 10 years. <laughs> They're expected to last 10 years. They're Levi's. Oh my god, great product placement, Dad. Levi's, the jeans of our fathers. What <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? That is the new me. He's gonna be making his big debut at Christy Ackerman's party. Prove it. Have fun at sports, nerd. Zach, don't forget to pick me up at eight. Have <laughs> fun at sports, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> this swimsuit is from last year, but I, I only wore it once. <laughs> You're wearing a bikini to the party. Bad girl. <laughs> Daring. So. Well, it is a pool party. I uh, can't wait to see you with your shirt off. Uh, Let's see what you're working with. No. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, you know what? I gotta run. I got this thing typed. So bye. Bye, bye YouTube. Okay. All right. So let's head out. God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Feel the burn. Ah, the James. We're it's like, does no one give him any problems when he just goes to these public places? Like the whole vibe is no one gives a shit. <laughs> like, I'm surprised his par his parents approved of it. The way protein has a duct tape as well. <laughs> Jim, never thought I'd see oh, the this day. Guy. What are the cameras for? You know, working here for the summer, trying to make some money before I go back to BC. You work here? Oh my God, this is great. Okay, so this is what I'm going for. Uh, it's Lautner's pecs, McConaughey's abs, Serena's calves, not Venus's. Oprah's eyes. Uh, um, okay. Oprah's uh, eyes. Why don't you still like? All right, hold on. Christy's gonna be all over me. Like. You were never gonna look like that. I know. Those guys train for like eight hours a day and still had to have six packs sprayed on. Wait, they just painted their muscles on? No. After building and muscles. And you're a genius. No, dude, you're an idiot. Hello, party goers. 
may have your attention. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> that hot girl on Zach's arm? Is that Christy Ackerman? Yep. I'll do the voices. Okay. <laughs> of muscle. Oh, Zach oh Stone's God. got muscle. Wow! There's something wrong with the pool. There's something wrong with the pool. <laughs> This is like 8th grade, but worse. Oh, yeah. He left the party. Yeah, it wasn't really my scene. Pretty awful music, wet, sexy gym rats. <sighs> Didn't really go as planned, huh? You know, we should get iced coffees tomorrow. I will pick you up. I will not be late. I'm done with the... Actually, I have a training session with Nick. I've never had a trainer before, and he kind of talked me into it, so oh, I figured I'd try Jesus. it out. Oh, Jesus. Let's get coffee after? Yeah, great. Awesome. Zach Stone is gonna be famous. All right, so... Wow, a lot to talk about. First of all, um, I think it was a little bit better than I expected for the most part. I mean, Bo Burnham's about, you know, what I expected for his performance, but I was surprised, you know, the writing and everything for MTV was pretty funny. I don't know how much he was involved. It said he created the show with someone else, but I don't know how much of it was improv or how much he wrote or were his ideas. So I'd have to look more into that. But yeah, overall, it was a, definitely a fun watch and I'm interested to watch more. So it wasn't, you know, terrible or too cringe or anything to continue. That's a good sign. Yeah, I, I loved it. It had that like eighth grade cringe, but with like Bo Burnham's comedy, it, it was it was like a nice happy mix. And that first episode was just like a home run. I mean, we, we were fucking dying. Like, <laughs> so, all the duct tape on the wall. Oh, just, the second episode kind of like went down. Like, okay, they they got all their stuff in the pilot to hook you in. The no, episode mm -hmm. two was like, okay, yeah, I get it. Then it came back with episode three because that pool party scene was fucking incredible <laughs> yeah it's cool how it's like so far each episode it's like there's a, something that uh gets set up and then zach's bo burnham's character zach goes through like a number of shenanigans preparing for it and then the event happens and it's completely cringe and uncomfortable and then you know that's that's basically the setup of every episode with the funeral <laughs> the uh pool party and then the concert and the second one and they they were each good for me i probably agree that the second one was a little bit weaker but um I think it's pretty obvious how they're setting things up with the girl best friend, you know, being the love interest and they're going to put obstacles in there and then, you know, all those things. I don't know how far they'll get in this first season of going through all of that. And unfortunately it was canceled after just one season. So um, I'm not too invested in that part of it because I don't expect there to be like, you know, deep stories with these characters or anything. So I'm just more so just trying to have a good time with the comedy. But there were a few moments, you know, like with the dad when he blows up on him and stuff like that, that actually were some pretty good moments on the serious side too yeah absolutely um it feels a lot like the office and um oh uh, what's what's parks and recreation yeah the comedy is just like Bo, like with like a loose like a lo very loose leash like hey do what you want here yeah overall uh i'm hooked uh yeah i really enjoy it so far um I wanted to say the dad character that we talked about who played Biff in Back to the Future, I did look him up. It looked like he does a lot of TV stuff now. Uh, he does a lot of voices for, for SpongeBob characters, and he's in a lot of other... Really? Yeah, a lot of other TV shows. So he's still getting work, um, just not in anything huge. Uh, but great to have him in the show. I think he's been one of the best side characters. Um, and just the whole premise of him getting the camera crew, you referenced it while we were watching that I did something similar when we were in high school as a little video idea. I really love that premise and that it is in that mockumentary style. I think that really adds to it. We've never really seen Bo Burnham do something like that in that style. And that was obviously really popular, especially back in 2013. So that I did enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, I love all the comedy. Like, am I am I out of the shot? Like, are you sure? Okay, this is the establishment shot. Okay, no, you're supposed to say, all right, take two. And he humps, he jumps back over the counter, and it feels so real every time he walks in somewhere. Like people look at the camera, <laughs> like, but like everyone is like disgusted. Like no one, like no one likes him. <laughs> yeah. Funeral. I I gotta say that funeral bit was so goddamn funny. I I, I was in stitches. Uh, I wish I could remember. I, I'm probably gonna rewatch. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, I'm gonna rewatch when you upload this. I'm gonna watch it as my rewatch. It's... Mm-hmm. Um, I did also like in the second episode when they did the music, how we talked about making songs just as ringtones because that's all people listen to, and that was back in 2013. I mean, I think Vine, you know, Vine was a thing back then by that point, but now with TikTok and everything too, it's it was almost predictive in that way because in the show it's portrayed as like a joke. Like I'm not even gonna make songs just ringtones, but now it's actually like pretty accurate. Uh, you know, the setup of ringtones, like he's gonna make ringtones in episode two and episode three when his phone goes off. It's one of those ringtones. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we're definitely going to continue watching this show. There's 12 episodes, so we'll watch those uh, in the coming weeks. But we also are watching Star Wars The Clone Wars. We are watching The Book of Boba Fett. We will be watching Peacemaker, the DC show, once that starts up. So this was kind of just a little fun show that uh, we figured we would watch, you know, in the midst of all the more kind of... Uh, uh, fandom type shows that we watch but we will continue to watch this as well we also react to movie trailers review movies so make sure to subscribe to the target audience so you don't miss any of those videos absolutely and if you have a suggestion for us to watch I'm always looking for suggestions I scrolled through HBO Max for an hour looking for something to watch and I had no idea so please tell us what to watch and we'll watch it but uh, I think that'll do it for us here at the target audience I'm Alex this is Josh we are the target audience content is made for absolutely everybody but we think it's specifically made for us and hopefully for you as well thanks for you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next one